everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd be doing an adulting 101 video because you know lots of people don't know how to adult. I don't fully know how to adult. We learn a lot of things as we go but if I can share that wisdom I will share that wisdom. So here we are. So I'm going to start with all the things I think you need to know, do and get before you move out and then the stuff that you do when you move out so you know we'll do it in stages um but i did ask all my friends have moved out i was like what are your tips and tricks like what would you say and i mean yeah other than the most common one be don't do it it's expensive which i mean they're not wrong <laughs> it is expensive i don't like being an adult but here we go, either way. So first tip I'm gonna give anyone is save. Save, 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 save. And just save, save more. Learn to be frugal, right? That's, that's a skill I desperately need. I don't have that skill. But learn to be frugal. Learn to save. If you are like me and you have a severe spending dopamine issue, ADHD, woo, um, then Treat it as a bill. So if that means you have to give it to somebody else, do it. I give it to my mum. If I need to save for any hand, I'll sit take the money off and be like, mum, keep this. I'm saving it for blah, blah, blah. And she'll keep it for me. And she'll keep it for that. And she'll make sure I'm okay. So that's how I have to do it because Lord knows that I spend money like it's going out of fashion. But my bills are always paid. Always pay my bills. That is a tip that I'm going to give all of you is Pay your bills before anything else. The rent, the council tax, the utilities, food, necessities. Pay for the necessities first, right? Your co your daily coffees don't really matter at the end of the day, right? When it comes to it, you have to prioritise. And keeping a roof over your head and staying alive is a priority. So the house or flat, apartment, whatever it is you're staying in, your food shop and your water. That's the three things you need. Everything else after that just falls in category of how important they are. So like in my house, one of the next most important things is the stuff to make tea. That That's literally the next thing. House done, food's done, we've got water, cool, right, I need a kettle, I need tea bags, I need sugar and I need milk because... Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, but you know, we've still made sure that the main things are paid for. And that's what you all need to do. Make sure the main things are paid for. Um, But yes, that's, that's how I would do it because I personally can't save. So I'd be giving money to my mum to make sure that my mum could keep it for me and be like, here, go and just put this to the side for me. But with everything else, because I know I can't save, I would be logical. So if I'm going to move out, I would start buying stuff for moving out. That sounds bizarre. It might be a few years. But as long as I can keep it in my room, why not? I'm saving myself money at the end of the day when I move out. I'm getting my little dopamine fix of buying stuff. Uh, but also, I could end up getting stuff cheaper buying it now than buying it in two years when I move out. So, you know, you know. You do little things like that um, if you can't save. But I would learn to save, learn to be frugal, learn all of that. It is so helpful. Um, one of the next things, and it's two together technically, is learn to cook and learn to prep. Because that will save you. Now, don't get me wrong. As I've said before, I work three hours, five, three hours a day, five days a week, right? In those three hours, I do 10,000 steps. I am knackered. I'm not standing at a cooker for the next 20 minutes or, to be fair, 10. Making bolognese or making a stew or something. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. It's just not happening. So for those days, I tend to have freezer stuff. Because we love a good freezer meal. Um, but yeah, my freezer is stocked up so I can come in, chuck it in the air fryer and go get ready. But I do know that on weekends, I like come to my mother's. And I use the slow cooker and I can pre-make meals. 
So there's meals in there. Now don't get me wrong, my boyfriend's I don't have a microwave. So I have to actually remember and think that I want to eat that in the evening to take it out of the freezer. <laughs> so I do mostly do most of my prep at home. I do have a bolognese at my boyfriend's actually. I might munch that tonight for work. But use things like a slow cooker. Make yourself meals at the weekend while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Because then you've got backed up meals. You've got them in tubs. So you're not necessarily always eating like chicken nuggets and chips or fish and chips or pie or whatever. Like you've got a bolognese there. You've got a stew there. You've got casserole there. You've got this, that and the next thing. So you just grab it, chuck it in the microwave, go get ready. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> but learn, learn how to cook. Learn how to prep the meals. Because cooking is one of those amazing things that once you work out the basics... Everything else just sort of makes sense. So you don't need to learn to cook anything elaborate, but like learn how to brown mince. Learn how to t tell when chicken's done. Learn all the different ways you can cook chicken. Do that. Learn it. Because there's nothing worse than a 30-year-old person who's living at home, eating beans on toast and noodles and bread. Like, are you thriving? No. And when you move out and you're becoming an adult, <coughs> <coughs> choked a little bit there, but when you move out and you're becoming an adult, you want to thrive. You want to be living your best life. We don't want to be on a student diet. No. No, that's not good. So, learn to cook and learn to prep it so it's sitting there for you so it's easy. That's what we want in life. Mm -hmm. The next thing, is learn to clean properly. Oh dear lord, learn to clean. Learn to use the machines, the tumble dryer, the dishwasher, the washing machine. Learn to use them. Now for the most part, most of them are self-explanatory and have the instructions on it. But in case you're getting a pre-used one and, you know, you know, they're not always the best. Ask the people before how to use it. Ask your mum how to use a washing machine. Google it. Right? Just learn to use a washing machine. Because I know people, and learn to use it properly, people. Because the amount of times, the amount of times I have had, to be fair, mostly males, in my life, put my clothes in the washing machine, and my white shirt has come out grey. Not even funny. Hang on two seconds. What is it? Can you come say hi? See, Raven's come to say hi. This is Raven. Mwah. Go down that way. She doesn't like being held. But she's okay. So, yeah, learn to use the machines. Because, funnily enough, one of the biggest complaints I had from girls with boyfriends was their boyfriends don't know how to use a washing machine or a dishwasher. And the men that I do know that know how to do it, mix colours. It frustrates my soul. I've outright told them to be fair, like darks, lights, and colours. Well, technically, it should be darks, whites, and colours, but still, there's the odd white thing I will put in there. <laughs> but yes, learn to cook and clean and use the things properly because it makes a world of difference. Right? Remember that every so often when you're cleaning, you maybe don't need to do it every time, but at least once a week. Move the toaster, move the kettle, move the object, move the couch out, move the freezer away a little bit. Do all that because the rest of your home could be absolutely sparkling, sparkling and gleaming, but you could have a moldy bit of chicken sitting under that. So, let's not be spreading bugs, diseases or nothing. And let's just be smart. And move things out and clean them. And learn to clean properly. Like getting a wet cloth and wiping the counter down does not make it clean. You've just moved everything around. Okay, so get an actual cleaning spray on there. And spray, spray, clean, clean. You know, not hard. Not hard. <laughs> but yeah, learn, learn to clean properly. It makes the world a difference. Um, we also have cooking, cleaning, washing machine, saving, prepping. Oh, yeah! This kind of falls into every category, but most importantly, learn to use the local transport. 
even if you drive, know your buses, know where your bus stops are, know where they take you, know all of that. If you have tubes near you, download the tube app. Go, go look, go see what the, go see what it's like. Go and investigate, because you know whether it's tubes, trams, trains, whatever it is. That's a lot of teas. Um, but whatever it is, learn the transport, learn the system, learn how it works, go through it all. Because even if you have a car, you never know when you're going to need it. You know, night out, drink in, get the bus. So, you know, you need to learn that. You need to learn how to use the local public transport. So, even if you're moving to a completely different area, still learn to use it. Because I have noticed over the years that the Perth and Kinross bus timetables are different to the Fife timetables. Um, but then even Doherty's are different to Stagecoach and First are different to Stagecoach. And it's a whole palaver. But for the most part, top tip I'll give you, nine times out of ten, I could be wrong, but nine times out of ten, the top line, the top line... Of that particular bus, so like for us it's 19. So for us we've got, let me think, I have a lot of numbers to back from. Ah, I'm going to go with the one. The one, right, so where you're, the bus stop you're standing at is normally the top line of that particular timetable. So just remember that. Um, so now I think that's most of the skills you need before you move out. Kicking, cleaning, prepping, saving. <coughs> That's most of them. Um, so now I'll go to the things you need to do before moving out. Now this is this is something that you really do need to do before you move out. You should do it. And you'll notice that a lot of people are doing it when they get older and you're like, eh, do I really have to? Yes. The answer is yes, yes, you do. So, first thing, research the area. And I don't just mean like, go and look at the stats and the news reports of it or whatever, because they lie, like they lie. Like you find out that like London has the highest crime rate in the or like racial crime rate in the world or something like that and you find out it's on one street. You know, it's not, by the way. Um, that was just sort of one of the factual things that I get. Um, but yeah, like research the area, do a proper research on the area, know the area. Know where the houses are that you're looking for. Know where they are in relation to shops and schools and how many schools are there. And what time do these schools at? What type of schools are they? You know, look at all that, do research on the area, make sure it is an area you want to live in. So you want to go check like the average price of houses in the area, you want to check the average wage, you want to check how frequent buses in that are, like you want to know all that. You want to know every little bit of information because it's no good moving somewhere or like this is one of the things that mum and I remember. Perth has buses every 10 minutes till a certain time. Every 10 minutes without fail. Now, by us, your buses are once an hour. You know, you got, to, you got to pick and choose your options. So that's why we want to research that. But I mean, also, like, I live in a very quiet... I live in a village that has one shop that is exceptionally expensive. So to get to a reasonably priced shop, it takes about five to ten minutes drive. It's three mile drive. Um, and then to get to a supermarket, so I've got a co-op and a spa that way. But to get to an Asda, Tesco's, anything like that, you yeah, are 20 miles that way. So this is what I mean by do your research on the area. Know what sort of area you're getting into, how you're going to have to deal with things, like, you know, learn all that. And with that comes the join the community groups. So like, we'll take Perth because I know Perth has multiple. And Perth is an example, right? If I was going to move to Perth, 
I mean, from not being as close or whatever. But if I was going to move to Perth, even even now actually, I would still go and join the Facebook groups for the city centre, Tullock, Muir Inn, North Muir Inn, Letham. I would go and join all those community groups because that's all the different bits in Perth. I would go and join them and I would see what one, like what people are saying in those community groups, what's happening the most, what's the most thing that's getting brought up. I would go and have a look at all that and just look at the type of people you're sort of moving to an area with that, you know, what what is it that's happening? Because you can find a lot out from the community pages, a lot out from the community pages. So join the community pages. Also go to the community events. So if they've got a coffee morning, go to it. If they've got a car business, go to it. Fun fair, go to it. Go to all of the events in that area. Meet people. Like, just get to know them. Do all that. Um, that is definitely something you should do. Uh, so you can at least get a vibe for the community before you move there. Because there is nothing worse than if you are used to like me nice quiet town villagey farminess or whatever and then the street that you move to ends up being like the party street or something like we don't want that we don't want that i mean if you do by all means bash on but you know what i mean like that's not not the vibe we're going for so make sure you do your research but while we're researching let's just keep researching because we love that um research your suppliers Research who's available there, who's got the best deals, who most people are with. Like even you can even jump in the community pages and be like, Hi, I'm thinking about moving to the area. Uh, can somebody tell me like what experience they've had with suppliers and like who's the best? Gas, electric, Wi Fi, anything. Go go check the suppliers. Go research the suppliers. Research like ask people in the community pages. Just do the research on all the suppliers and make sure that, because there's no point in you sitting there being like, oh, I really want to be with this company. This company is amazing. And then, and then, and then, and then you find out that you can't actually get any of the good deals with that company in that area because of how problematic that area is, you're automatically on the highest tariff. Like, no, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't. So research, do the research, make sure you're finding good suppliers for that area. That means that you move from, and this is just examples again, nobody knows what I'm talking about in Perth. If you do know Perth, you'll get my point. Um, but if it means moving from Letham to Tullock or Tullock to Letham or Mewton to North Mewton or Mewton to Letham or the city centre or whatever to get the deal you want with the company you want, do it. If it's not going to make that much of a difference, you just do it. But make sure you're getting the best deals. Make sure you are getting the best deals. Now, Moving on from the research. <gasps> um, before you go, make sure you have emergency bags sorted. Make sure you have your emergency bags prepped and ready to go. Because, funny story. So, <laughs> we moved into this house when I was seven, right? My mum was with this man, Stuart. Um, and... Yeah, we'll go with Stuart. And um, when we first moved in, mum had said something was wrong under the sink or whatever. I was out playing. Okay, I was a six, seven year old. I was living my best life. Uh, I was out playing. I came back and the house had flooded. Like there was just water everywhere. My mum was soaking, Stuart was soaking. Everybody was soaking. Right, apart from me, because I was awesome. <laughs> um, and it turned out that, I think, I think it was a, a seal or something. Um, I won't say a bolt, but I could be wrong. Um, well, not a bolt. I know what I mean. <laughs> but something was loose, and they knocked it. They did something wrong, and it just started. Water was just everywhere, right? Now, obviously, that was not an emergency. We did not need our emergency bags or anything like that for any particular reason. But it just sort of reinforces my point of: can we move in, and anything could happen, like. Especially if you live in a country, state, area or something where things like that are prone to happen. Um, that's something else we need to research when we're researching the area in the house, you know. Make sure we're not in like a flood zone or something like that. Uh, but 
you know, that's why you should have your emergency bag ready to go before you get into the flat. And when you do, you should make sure that you put it somewhere very accessible where you know where it is. So it's easy accessible, it's easy to grab and go. <coughs> because the last thing you want is to be moving in and suddenly have an emergency hit and you've got nothing or you have to rake through 20,000 boxes to be able to find it. Like, no, just make sure it's packed, ready to go. You know, leave it in the car if you have to. But just make sure you know where it is and it's ready to go already. But also, the other thing that I would definitely say um, is make sure before you move out that you are actually ready. Because we've all done it. We've been like, oh, I want to move out, I want to move out, I want to move out. You go do it and it's absolutely horrible. You're alone and it, no, it's traumatic. So make sure it is something you want to do. If that means researching for housemates, research for flatmates, housemates, whatever. Research for them, because then we should not be alone. Do it. Do it like that. It's fine. It should work. Um, so now, things to get before you move out. And this is going to sound so stupid to some people. But it's going to be logical to others. So things to get before you move out, right? I'm going to start with the biggest one, which is a bed. Because do you know the amount of people I have seen move out, not factor in a bed, and have slept on floor for weeks because they suddenly realise how expensive a bed is? Yeah. That means taking the one from your parents, take the one from your parents. That means going to buy just a mattress for ages, go and buy a mattress. Like, get a bed. Make sure you have a bed. Make sure it's one of the first things that can get put in there. Because you want to be able to still have a good night's sleep. Because you want to be able to move. Like, you want to be able to do all the work you gotta do. So... You know, make sure, make sure that you're all sorted. Um, so yeah, the bed. And then for us Brits here, it is definitely a kettle tea bags, milk and sugar. We always need that. Mm -hmm. By toilet roll, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste. I had a whole list. Um, buy, a lot, buy bottles of water as well. Um. Yeah, get get yourself some cutlery. Get plates. Get cups and stuff. Like it's one of these things. There's so many. Like even now, I'm sitting like, what's some of the stuff we always forget? I can't remember it because we always forget it. Um. But yeah, get yourself some. Make sure you grab. Like if you haven't bought pots and pans and stuff, make sure ask your parents for like a couple of pots, plates, whatever to keep you going the now. But make sure, like, do your best to try and buy the pots, the pans, the plates, and if it fly, go away. The pots, the pans, the plates, the cutlery, kitchen towel, toilet roll, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, skincare, um, get a hoover. Try and get as much as you can before you move out, but always remember the toiletries and stuff. The stuff you don't normally buy, right? Because that's the key thing. I didn't, most of us don't remember it because we're not normally the ones to buy it. So make sure you're buying it. Like, buy your hygiene products, buy your toilet roll, buy the toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, soap, washing up liquid, your cleaning products. Buy it all. Buy it all. And buy it before you move out so that you can move out with it. And then you don't need to remember it in the chaos of moving. Just need to remember to do a bit of a food shop. So really think of much else but yeah that's some of the stuff i would i would definitely say to do because and get because we've all been there done that got the t-shirt but it's definitely what i would oh another thing i would say to do especially when you do move well yeah this is all before you move in see when you do move in or when you move to any new place right there are some things we need to do right and uh, and uh. first of all find the main switches and by that I mean locate your fuse board, locate your water turn off tap thing, locate it all, find it all, okay, find it. Because you need to know where it is in the events of emergencies, right? So this is when we moved out, obviously, so you locate them. You then phone the suppliers and you make sure that all the information is up to date, that it's not the person that was living there before that's registered, that it's all paid up, there's no debt, there's no this, there's no that. Phone them, get all the information up to date. 
make sure it's all good to go because sometimes it can take weeks to transfer over sometimes it doesn't so you know you're better to do it as soon as you get in like make sure you know where all the switches and that are and then contact the suppliers and make sure that everything's in your name all up to date details are correct and all of that all right then what we do is you go introduce yourself to the neighbours. Now, I'm not an extrovert person and going and knocking on people's doors sounds horrible and traumatic, right? So I have a cheeky little solution to that. You write a note or type it, whatever works. Just write or type yourself a little note to say that like, you're the new neighbour, what your name is, you know, you're happy to meet everyone, blah, 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 blah. You know, anything you want them to know, like if you have dogs, cats, you know, if you work peculiar hours, let them know. Just send them a little note. We don't, we don't have to do face to face if you don't want to. But send them a note. Get to know your neighbours. Get to know the area, because as much as I'm saying research the area, there's some things that you'll just learn over time. Like, you know, you'll learn when pension day is. You'll learn when it's um pharmacy day you'll learn the school lunch times you'll learn the office lunch times you'll learn all that as you live there um but it still helps in getting to know the area um and that's something else i would definitely say once you move once you move in you've got your emergency bag sorted and everything and you know it's easy to grab you've changed over your suppliers you've got all the bits and bobs that you need Sorry, there's people coming in here. I don't know who they are. <laughs> there's people driving in my car beside me. I'm getting very confused. Very confused. I think that's a delivery man, though. Yeah, that's a delivery man. Makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's just some of the stuff that I think we all need to know. We all need to know it. And sometimes we need to remind ourselves of it. But it is a big thing. Right? If you plan on staying in a community for ages... You should get to know them. You should get to know the times of it. You should be going through all this. So, there you go. But the other thing I would say, obviously, once you're in the house, you know how much your gas, electric, food, rent, all of that is going to cost, right? Start doing a budget. Start doing a budget and stick to it because then you know that that is what is going to come out every month regardless. Like, that has to come out. There is no ifs, ands, buts, because or coconuts. Ifs, buts, or coconuts about this, right? It's coming out my bank to pay my bills, right? So then the rest of the money, the rest of the money, we can work with. We can work with that. So just make sure you're budgeting. Just make sure you're thinking about it. And do you know what? Ask people. Ask for help. Ask how to do things. Because do you know what? I mean, maybe not the mother of five that's running about like a headless chicken. Maybe don't ask her. Right. But that nice old lady down the street, you could probably ask her how to do some things and she would love it. So don't be scared. Do not be scared to ask people. I love teaching people new things. Even kids come up to me and they're like, oh, can you, I can't, can you teach me how to do this? No, bro, no problem. Let's go. That's why I'm smelling curry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, no problem. Let's go. Let's do it. Like, I love it. So somebody else is going to love it too. So don't be scared to ask. Ask them. Ask people. Ask them what to do. And you'll be fine. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.